Hello, welcome to the TechBits YouTube channel. Today's topic is Postgres custom data types. We're going to be explaining briefly what each of these main features are and then heading into a demo. That said, thanks for coming back and let's get started. Postgres custom data types. One of the distinctive features of Postgres is the ability to define custom data types that, that allow you to create specialized data structures that align precisely with your application requirements, allowing for a much more flexible and modern database design. While standard data types like integers, strings, and dates are fundamental, custom data types take database design to the next level. They enable you to encapsulate complex data structures, making your data model more intuitive and efficient. For instance, if your application deals with geographic data, you can define a custom data type to represent geographical coordinates, complete with built-in functions for distance calculations and geometric operations. Custom data types enhance data integrity by enforcing consistent validation rules and constraints. You can design a custom data type to represent a specific domain, such as email addresses or ISBN numbers, ensuring that only valid data is stored in your database. This promotes data quality and reduces the risk of erroneous or inconsistent information. Furthermore, custom data types can simplify queries and streamline application development. By encapsulating complex business logic within a data type, you can write cleaner and more concise SQL queries, making your code base more maintainable and easier to understand. This abstraction can also shield your application from underlying data structure changes, providing a layer of separation between your code and the base schema modifications. In summary, Postgres custom data types offer a powerful tool for tailoring your database to your application's unique needs by creating specialized data structures and encapsulating business logic. You can enhance data organization, integrity, and query efficiency. Embrace the world of custom data types in Postgres SQL and unleash the true potential of your database management. Let's go ahead and head into the demo. Okay, let's go ahead and log into SQL, PSQL to be exact. We're already into the PSQL command line. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a database. I'm going to create it, name it, my custom data types. Oh, and of course, I have a syntax error there. Now we're going to connect to this database. Let's list and see if there are any tables or objects here, at least no tables so far. And let's go ahead and create our custom data type. This data type is a phone number. And we're going to create a table that depends on this data, custom data type. Great. Let's list. And let's describe the table called contacts. Notice that the type now indicates phone number. It depends on the custom data type we just created. Let's go ahead and enter some data. And then let's go ahead and select it. And we have the data we inserted. Let's go ahead and attempt to enter erroneous data. It should be in the format that we specified the custom data type. As we can see there's multiple formats, but we're going to enter it in text here, as you can see here. And we get an error because it violates the rule, the custom data type itself. Let's try to update a phone number that does follow the format, though. And let's select the contact and see if it changed. It did succeed because it follows the format we have indicated. One way to list the custom data types is by using the backslash small cap D capital T meta command. Now we have already a custom data type defined, as we can see. We have also tables. What happens if we want to drop the domain number, the custom domain? In other words, custom data type. 
try dropping it. It gives us an error because there is an independent object on it, which we already know is the table we created here. So this is to be used with caution, I'm not saying use it, but it is available for you. Let's go ahead and repeat this and add the cascade option. Once we do this, and of course I recommend not doing it in production because this is not good, it will drop any dependent objects. It dropped it. So let's list any domains because there is a table. Custom data type, there is none. But notice that the table is still there, but the phone number or the phone cost column itself is gone, meaning the data was dropped because it depended on it. So this is concludes our video for today, but gives you a food for thought that makes it very flexible, the availability of custom data types within your Postgres database model. Feel free to send any contacts, comments, and leave us thoughts for any other topics if you want. We will be adding more different of topics, not just Postgres, as we have been for some time dedicated. And we open another channel that is dedicated for reviews. Stay in touch and see you soon.